All right, Eddie's got him a new uh, 30 foot ladder here and uh, he's gonna demonstrate his new racks here. Check these dudes out, man. Is this not wicked or what? Look at this. Look at that. Now that, that ends the back breaker. Look at that. He's ready to rock. Fantastic, Eddie. Man, you did great, buddy. Got that thing for, man, you know. Got to go out on a lot of calls out in the country or, on, you know, maybe have to double park once or twice to get the tools off or whatnot. And uh, he's uh, safe. That's rocking too, Ed. <laughs> Eddie's got his Vipers on here too, buddy. Look at that. That's next freaking level. Okay, we got uh, Ray out here and uh, he's going to tape off the uh, exhaust vent on my 90% furnace here. And we're going to pressurize that heat exchanger. Make sure we ain't got a crack heat exchanger. We got Eddie back over here. We're, we've uh, we've capped off the combustion air. We've capped off the outside exhaust, and he's got his uh, Wicked 330 hooked up here. And we're starting off with a measurement option here, Ed. What, what do we got next? All right, we're gonna hit OK, and we'll go to draft measurement. Okay. We're gonna hit OK, and once you hit play, it's going to zero out. So we're gonna wait for it to zero. And there's the here. zero. Okay, we right, see it. Let's see. Wait for that to zero out right there. What? Five, four, three, two, one. And what's Jim saying? We do not need to go into the positive. Yeah. Uh, Once the blower powers up, if it goes into a positive, it's a failed heat exchanger. Okay. And that's so a guaranteed, is, right? This is direct from the man himself. Okay. Let's, right, uh, so let's do it, brother. Kick the blower on. Get it focused out. Yep. All right. All right, brother. I'm not seeing a problem myself. So we appreciate uh, that, Jim. It's a good test. Yeah, yeah. Thank you so much, Jim. We do appreciate, it, brother. And we're staying negative when we haven't rose above the positive. Draft out a supply of food party, so. Got the fan on, and uh, everything is capped off. So, I guess we're we got a pretty tight ship here. All right, y'all. We appreciate it so much. Thanks, Jim. Thanks, hey, Dad. What's a what's a, what's a positive draft look like? <laughs> <laughs> I can here, blow. Get, get over here. <laughs> get over here, dude. Let's see. It is pretty sensitive. Let me get focused. You all keep it clean. <laughs> Alright, so hey, y'all. Yeah, we broke out Eddie's uh, Testo 435. He's getting ready to do us a little demonstration here. Now, what's this thing actually do, Eddie? It's going to measure airflow, it's going to measure BTU output, and just temperatures, drops, humidity, it just kind of measures everything. We just want to see what kind of heat your heat pump's putting out. Okay, and what are you doing here? So you we're going to measure the size of the duct so we can input that into the machine. So it's okay. 8. 8 by 20 or something? 8 by 23. Right on what I can see. So we're going to put area, this rectangular duct, and we're going to input size. So it's 23 inches by 8 inches. All right. And that's going to be it. We just got to drill a few holes and okay. we'll get that going for you. All right, sure. You drill your test holes. Ready? Yes, sir. reason why there? Or? Well you want to be out of the line of sight of the coil. Okay. So usually two or three foot down from the coil. Okay. That's going to measure your supply temperature. Okay. Wands and they're like remotes to measure. Yeah, they're wireless temperature probes. Okay cool. Awesome. Does that come with that kit or are those uh, uh, well, accessories? You buy, yeah they're accessories. If you want wireless you got to obviously pay more. Okay. Uh, but Everything you buy is accessories for this meter. Okay. What about the analyzer? Does that just come with the wand and the, the doodah that screws into your uh, PVC or your metal piping? 
Yeah, the way, yeah, it's just the wand and the analyzer. Everything, okay. again, everything else is... And then you got your own pedals and your own... Uh, you got to order all that separately. Okay, yeah. fantastic. Right. One's marked for supply and one marks for return. So we're going to put our supply in. And we'll put our return in. And we're going to adjust our meter. I'm going to put this on BTU. And this one, bottom one on CFM. And that's actually a way for your supply temperature to balance out. So the 71 degree return. This is going to go to probe 2 up here. So it's 92 degrees. Supply, we're going to let this run for a minute to let the balance out. Okay. My return air is 49%. My return temperature is 72. Okay. All right. My wet bulb is 60. You know, my probe 2 is 25% humidity. 94 is degrees. Okay, is the supply. Yeah, and dew point wet bulb. You, got, you can measure in feet per minute, CFM. And BTU output. Now that what you got there is like an air wand or something? Mm hmm Yeah. Okay. It's got the little... Oh, too cool. Uh, I think you focus on that little fan in there or not. Yeah, yeah, it's beginning to perfect weapon. All right, so we're going to run this through the ductwork. We're going to time average it in the ductwork, and it converts it into... It just averages the airflow with the temperatures, and it converts it into BTU for you. Okay. All right, so that's what we're going to do. <laughs> get over here on this side. I guess I better go get a chair because I'm sure this ain't going <laughs> to... I'm going to freak you out once yeah. it's fully fit, so that's hopefully we'll not do it. Out a hopefully we won't carry. do it again. So, what we're going to do, the mean, there's a time value. Oh, shoot. Alright, so we're going to hit start. Once I hit start, we're just going to start running the wand back and forth. You can always see the CFM starting. All right, so, it's going to start or converting it to BTUs as we do it. Here we go. Okay, let's just begin. So we're coming to the end. We'll hit stop. So it's putting out 26,000 BTU and it's running at 1,021 CFM. Okay, and I the meter's going to be measuring in tons this time, so we don't have to do any conversions here. All right, we're going to go to mean, we're going to go to time value, and we'll hit start. So on, with a two and a half ton, ideally we want to see a thousand CFM. We okay. want 400 CFM per ton. So that's two is eight, and half of that's uh, two. Two. Uh huh. Then you add that to your eight, give you right at a thousand. And we need to be. I was told a good, or uh, 20 percent, been within 20 percent of your capacity is about where we want to be. Okay. So if you're at 30,000 BTU output, uh, 2% or 20% of 30,000 BTU would be 6,000. Okay. So anywhere from 24,000 to 30,000, you'd be in pretty good shape. Okay. So right now you're running just a little over, right at 2.1 ton. It hasn't been running very long. Okay. All right, and it's not, it's warm inside the house, it's not cold outside, yeah. so as the weather starts getting into the heating season that that will change. So okay. you're within range. I would say you're fine. Your airflow is right on the so money. Now we want to check your gas furnace out. We're gonna do that next. Okay. That's we'll the, kick your that's gas heater. Yeah. Okay. Power. So let's do that. We're gonna to go to DTU for gas heat. Okay. Or if we had electric heat we would be measuring in kilowatts. Okay. So we'll hit okay. Go back out of here. 
So now we're going to be measuring in BTUs. Okay. So I'll get you to flip your heat on. We'll yes, check sir. It. I'll hit it. All right. So basically, I was just waiting for my supply to balance out. I want to wait for it to get to its hottest point. 132 degrees is about it. It might go up a little bit more, but this is good enough to do our test. Okay. So I'm going to hit mean. I'm going to do time value again. I'm going to get my wand in here to get it ready. We're going to hit. Oh, wait a minute, we want to switch this to BTU because I want to see what it's doing. And we're going to hit start. Let's see what it's putting out. Alright, so you're putting out right at 75,000 UTU. Okay, well, it's probably 75. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so let's look and see what you got here. You need that light over it? Um, yeah. I got this bag on train. I thought it was an eyeball over it. He's checking the gamma chart for the uh, BTU rating here. And 80,000 BTU. And I'm going to have to do the math. What's the eight? The, uh, I don't have a I got one on my, my phone here. I've got one on mine, too. Actually, I've seen your video where you're using this. Yeah, I've been. It's late. <laughs> All right, so you've got, what did I say, 80,000? Yes. Times 0. 0.9. 72,000 BT is what it should be putting out. So it's a little over, so that's good. I mean, it's, a, it's putting out a little bit more because it's running hot. I don't think we got enough airflow. Okay. Uh, I'm with you on that. So it's, it's overheating, and that's just how we're putting out more BTU. Okay. So we want to try to get it close to 72,000 BTU as possible. Okay. So I think we need to increase our airflow. Air it's the ducks, dude. I'm on the high tap right now. Oh, yeah? Yeah. And so. Absolutely. But that's how the meter works. We're going to do another one. We're going to get everybody good and toasty hot, but we want to print out. And we almost got our print out. He's going to get all his little doodahs out and put his uh, probes back in. He's got a supply probe and a return probe. He's uh, three feet away from direct from the uh, heat exchanger. And he's ready to rock with the wand. I'm sure it's probably hot enough now. Let it level out just a hair. Put it on. Put it on our supply. Let's wait for that temperature to get. 130 you mean? Yeah, 124 or something like that last time. Okay, we're going to run another one and uh, we want to get a print out on this one. Alright, so we're going to go to mean, we're going to go to timed, and we're going to hit start. Fritz gets me over here talking, get me distracted, and I forgot to print it out. <laughs> I kind of blamed you on that. Yes, I did. I'd say you're 99% right. What are you doing, boy? You trying to tell us it's hot? You don't know what about all this company, do you? Got one Eddie upstairs, one Eddie downstairs, Ray's up there. Alright, so we'll hit end. And okay. Oh boy. Oh, sorry. Oh. Oh, oh. Yeah, I had to make sure that little green eye was on. And on that uh, 330, it's actually got a thing that looks like a printer.
Eddie's got his gun out again. Yeah, we playing for the heat. I've been here how long? Uh, a good hour and a half. Yeah, so I'm still picking heat up off my truck underneath it. Walk over, Ray. I want to see what you look like. Okay. Here, get in the dark. Here, get him in the dark over here, bro. Yeah. Hey, Ray. <laughs> you can't hide from us. <laughs> you can't hide, boy. We got you. All right, All right go boy. Go, go, go Sarge. <laughs> <laughs> go some great. <laughs> Who's booking? Okay. All right, calm down.